Hello there everyone and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, if you remember, I did do a video on this and people seem to enjoy it, I guess. I thought I'd do another one. Um, this here is the T-Rex paddock we did last time. Ooh. It's uh, not the best, but we will probably move them into something larger in the future, but for now we're going to do another dinosaur. Now, I haven't played this in a while, um, but you know, I was actually quite surprised and pleased that people actually enjoyed this, because it's something I want to do, and um, I'm hoping that it all goes to plan. It's very difficult uh, to get it all synced up together because I'm recording audio and everything separately, um, so I'm hoping that this is going to work. So, what are we going to do today? We are going to make a new dinosaur. I'm thinking we're going to do Triceratops. Um, and you have to bear with me with the controls here. But uh, So this is our pathway. Now let me find these here. Okay, this one here. Alright, so let's uh, head off the pathway. Can I go diagonally? I can. Alright, that's pretty good. Actually. You know what? I don't want to click escape, I always do that and it ends the recording. So, ooh, okay, that doesn't look the best. Okay, okay, um, right, is there a delete tool? I think there is, yeah. No. Uh, selective. And this one? No. Okay, let's just demolish that. Okay, you know what? That'll do, I think. As well as that there. Because it doesn't have to be... Yeah, that'll do. And what we'll do is we will make it look pretty with uh, some of these. Uh, no. no. Oh, gosh. I'm, I apologize for my terrible skills. There we go. That should do it. And then let's go back down. To the... No, I don't. I don't want to delete two there. I want to just delete the one. Um, let's go. Just brush then, maybe. And then. No, 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 no. Remember, this game is not even released yet. It's like in pre pre alpha. I did say a lot of that in the first video, so if you haven't checked out that video, uh, go check that video out and then come back to this one if you want. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is this. Um, we have water somewhere, I believe. All the animals down there. But uh, this is our hatchery, I guess. And, okay, we want, yeah, Arcosauria, um, these guys here. No, I don't. Sub... Okay. Where are... the Triceratops? Am I missing something? I feel like I am. Where, where would it be? Ah! Okay. Sorry, just scare the shit out of you. <laughs> okay, um, so we can have scaly and we can male and females. Let's have a look here. I want to see the. Oh, that's amazing. If you look at the horns, that is very accurate to real life. As they grew up, they were pointed upwards, and then when they hit sexual maturity, they pointed forward. Um. I believe that John Horner um, first decided to, and his team, to discover all these different ones and compare them like this, and uh, came up with this discovery. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. I think we're going to have some trikes. So what we're going to do is breed a single bull male, and then we are going to have a couple females, but they're not going to be the green variant. They're going to be the nice brown here 
and uh, they're gonna be, you know, let's get some full adults, let's get three adults, adult females, okay, and then one, uh, juvie female, so let's have this one as a crimson, Okay, so now we need to build an enclosure for five Triceratops. Now, um, whilst I do this, let's just go off and talk about the Triceratops, I guess. But um, where, where are we going to put this first? Um, let's put it here, I guess. That's a big enclosure, big paddock. Doing that. Okay, yeah, but Triceratops means a three-horned face. Um, the full name is Triceratops horridus. Um, very cool, very common species to be known now. Um, I quite like this fence. I've got to say, that's a pretty nice fence. It's a noise fence. Right, loads of trikes, so let's go up here. Around there. Because I feel like I've made a big mistake with the, the uh, Rex paddock. I made it too small. So let's make this... A decent size. Let's go there and then down there and then um, there. Nope, one more. There we go. Alright, and I'm hoping that the Triceratops don't break out of a wooden fence. If they can. Because I, d I don't, I don't want them, I don't want them getting out. Um, but this should be, there you go, that's a large paddock for five trikes, and hopefully it should be good. Yes, um, let's get the paddock done here. Yeah. What do they need? I'm going to say they need another one of these. Yes. Uh, let's pop this in the corner, just like the T-Rex one. Need some water up there, and they probably need some large wooden food drops. Um, let's put two there. Kind of remind me of um, the ones you get at zoos for like camels, things along those lines there. If you see that, yeah, very, very cool, very nice. All these hints. I wish I could turn them off. Probably can somewhere. But uh, what do you think of this series? Um, I know I'm very new to all this Let's Play stuff. And um, a lot of you probably just uh, want reptile content. Um, but, I don't know. I, I quite enjoy this sort of stuff. So maybe you guys might enjoy it because I'm enjoying it. I don't know. How do I turn these off? Can I turn these off? Uh, never display hints. That would be probably the thing. There we go. Okay, so, can we get hills? Terrain tools. Yes, we can. Wow, okay. Let's do the intensity down. Uh, okay. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like it. And then, uh, a bit more. There. Then what we do is we have an island separating that so then mm, I don't is there a smooth smooth perfect and then what we do is this so that it, it breaks the um, view for the public um, so it makes the enclosure um, both look um, larger because you can't see everything uh, it makes it not look like an enclosure as well as it forces the animals to have more close uh, contact interactions with the public because they have to go around here. Um, so yeah, it works. It works. It's good. Okay. So next we need some um, food uh, trees. Um, I don't think water's in the game yet. No, I can't wait for this to be released. They are adding so many animals into the game. Um, and I can't wait for that. But what we need is trees and foliage. Or rocks. Rocks would be good too. Yep, yeah, that's good there. Um, I think that would be good, just like that. 
there. Can I rotate? Oh yeah, there we go. I don't want too many rocks in this enclosure because it's quite a grassy enclosure. Um, so I think we're only going to have this here, just like that. It looks a bit off like that. So let's let's just do a bit more here. Let's have a bit more. Larger one there, another one there, and then maybe one well, one on top of that. There and hmm. Does that look natural? Kind of does. I quite like that. It's it's okay. We can. Can we scale? Why? Oh my god, yeah. So we can scale the rocks. This is the coolest thing. Um, I've, I've, either I forgot that you could do this, or I just didn't know. Um, but that is. That is a cool thing. I like this. So, and then I can move it around. Wherever I want. Let's uh, pop this over by the hill, shall we? Um, let's pop it into the hill. Um, oh no, I grabbed, I grabbed the wrong one. Grab the wrong button. I'm not used to the inverted controls. I'm pretty sure I can change that, but um, I'm just going to live with it. Right, let's hide that there. Oh, that's good. Adds a bit more texture to the enclosure as well. Um, put one there as well. I hope this is enjoyable for you guys. I hope, I hope it's okay. And then I think we can do this. Oh, yes, there we go. All right. Now let's get some trees. I think it's on this tool. Yes, here we go. Okay, uh, multiple foliage. No, let's go. Okay, let's get intensities down. Let's just get these, these, this here. See how big these are. Uh, this doesn't seem to be working. Okay, that is okay. I'm happy with those being at the front. You don't want to obscure the thing too much. Um, and you don't want to put too many down either. But that that will be good for there. Maybe a bit too much there, but it should be okay. On the mountain as well. But what we'll do with these hills, we'll add more trees to them. Oh, you can't actually see them unless you're too close to them, so that might be a pain. Um, let's put some more here. And then, um, there we are. So now what I want are these fellas here. And decorate them on here and then up here maybe in front of here as well and of course there so how's that look that looks okay that looks decent now we need some proper trees I'm liking these ones I think that's these ones here so let's put these down there oh yeah these are nice these are nice trees I'm not overdo it However, we're mainly focusing on the hills because it separates it off again, blocks the view for the visitors. Uh, very important. And uh, let's put it in front of the fencing as well so that the fencing is obscured. There we are. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That is. A nice enclosure. Let's get some of these trees and let's just dot these around. Let's uh, close the sides down. Okay, they're not placing, so let's hide the intensity. One there, one there, one there. Let's put some more. One there, one there. Uh, let's dot a couple through there. This is a finished enclosure, I believe. I don't know how long I've been recording this for. But that is a pretty good... What do you think? 
tell me in the comment section below what you think of this. Um, would you think this would work in a, for a Triceratops? I think it would. Kind of reminds me of the scene in Jurassic Park with the sick Triceratops, I guess. So let's go and try and get the thing. How do I get rid of this toil? Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, select all, place selected. Okay, let's put them in the front area here. And there we go. So if you're a visitor, you'll be coming along here and you will just see this just huge enclosure with a small herd of Triceratops. A very cool dinosaur. Wow, I'm enjoying this. They have noises as well, it's very weird. There we go. I could just sit here and watch this all day to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, okay. We could probably put some Gallimimus in here as well. Um, to sort of make it a bit more of a cohab. Kind of like how zoos do with uh, rhinos and ostriches. Um, should we do that? I think we should do that. What do Gallimimus need? I think they might need some different um, food. Feeding. Um, I think they might need a small. Let's just hide this. Hide this back here. There you go. I don't think you can see that from there. Uh, we well, might do. Let's have a look. No, you can't actually see it. See what I mean by it obscures the um, this sort of thing? Oh my god, the Triceratops can actually go up there. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The Triceratops down there as well. The T-Rex's paddock though, it's a bit small, let's be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Gallimimus and then we will uh, sort the other animals out. Okay, there's the Gallimimus. Um, let's bring it to full. So we got this one here. Let's go with the males because they're always colourful. A darker um, reds and blacks. This one here, which is a white. And then this one here. I think I'm going to go for this one here because it's more ostrich like. And that's what I wanted. I want to get some. Uh, a big male. Like that. And then a female. Now, female ostriches. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. But what we'll do is we'll get two baby females as well. Um, like, about that size. And they'll just be running around. Or maybe three. Sand hill. Is that what we had before? Yeah, okay, let's do these. Let's have three babies. Just dotted around. Maybe they'll come together. I don't know how the AI works in this game. We live in hope. So that is five Gallimimus. Um, these were seen in Jurassic Park as well. And Jurassic World. Okay, so let's uh, dot these around. There we go. And then let's have a look. Oh, look. Yeah, that's nice. So you got the big male, big female. Oh, the gallimimus are huge. And then loads of babies. I like that. Oh, they're very noisy. This is so good. I'm pretty sure this fence would not work with a triceratops. Let's just pretend there's hot wire lining it to stop them from coming near it. Sort of an invisible barrier, I guess. The actual fence isn't the actual fence. How about that? Um, Alright, so now what I want to do is decorate this here, because it's all about the looks on the outside and the inside of the enclosure. There's no point having an enclosure with all these trees and foliage if the outside is barren and does not set that, um, does not set that sort of authenticity, if that's the word. Um, because it, the whole point is you want to make your guests feel like they're in the enclosure. I don't know how long this is. This might be a special long episode. As an apology for not making one in a while, I guess. But let's um, put these around. 
I quite like these, so let's go one there, one there, one there, and then a couple more there. What we should have done is increase the hill. Ooh, should we do that? Yes, we should. We shall. We shall do this. I hope this is still recording. I may have screwed up and pressed escape, which closes the thing. Oh god. <laughs> level, level it up. Oh gosh, that takes me back to like Zoo Tycoon days. That's intensity. Okay. They've added some sounds, I think. I don't remember these sounds before. I could be just imagining it. But, how's that? That's a nice slow increase. And what I want is the path to go around this way as well. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Let's increase the intensity. I want some of these. Oh no, these aren't big enough. Let's get some some of these. I haven't used palm trees a lot, so let's um not use oh that's palm trees still. Okay. Might be using a little bit too many trees. But uh it will blend in once it's all treed up and everything. So there we have it with that area there. Um, right, all I want to do now is increase this here. So what we're going to do is grab this here, um, grab this out to so there, and give it a two there, and then there, there. Okay, I'm not measuring what I'm doing, so it won't be um, symmetrical, but it shouldn't matter too much. Um, so, uh, one more up, and then we'll go into this one. It's symmetrical enough. It's, it's okay. It's it's not horrific. And now what we do is okay, um right. Let's do this. I wish the delete tool was a bit better. Because I'm I'm I've really not got the hang of it. It keeps doing this and stuff, so demolish this and quick because the T Rexes are technically loose. Um okay. And then there and there. There we go. So now we have... Can I move this? No. I can sell it, but I can't move it. I don't think I'm going to move it. I think I'm just going to uh, mess around with the landscape tools again. Let's go up. And lower the intensity down. To about there. Right there. Is that too low? Oh, that's a bit too high. Um, smooth. There we are. I think. Okay. Okie dokie. Up the intensity. Actually, what was the uh, plants we used in this one? Uh, yeah, it was these. You can't see them right now because the render distance for them is not high enough. Um, I just click the trees, it's fine though because I was using these anyway. And these ones as well. Quite dense in the back here. And the sides might as well. And there we are. I might get some trees. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that work? Maybe. Maybe they will. Who knows? I like this. It's more open because T-Rex wasn't in a really dense area. It was in more of an open landscape with trees, like this would be. Less this, more this. Um, for T-Rex, because in that Cretaceous period, uh, we won't get 
perfectly accurate because grasses wouldn't have, have evolved through then and I'm pretty sure trees weren't either. Trees came around after. It was mainly large ferns. Um, kind of like this, I believe. Uh, I think these are ferns. Well, these are very similar to ferns, so these sort of plants would be great. Um, so what I want to do is just get a couple more rocks. Oh wow, okay. Right, let's increase that. Go to the size tool. Let's do that there. Let's um, go there and then go to there. And go into the in in there and just stick that out. Just there. Bang. That is perfect. I'm gonna say, uh, maybe maybe a little bit there. Mm. Oh, mm. this tree's in the way, but I don't want to ruin that. How about this? That kind of works. No, it doesn't. Plan. Bang. Perfect. I like that. The render distance doesn't do it justice, but it's okay. This is okay, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Next episode, we'll probably introduce uh, the raptors into the game. And when this game is released, we will definitely do a playthrough. Uh, next episode, we'll probably um, add more foliage to this area, make it look nicer, increase this down here, um, and all sorts. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video of Prehistoric Kingdom. Bye, everyone.